Eric Moad with Moad.com. Let's take a look at an example here for Fitbit, which is an example of the method which I call the Moad Virgin Breakout or Breakdown, which can be used for entry if you're looking for a bullish idea. And you can also use it when you're looking for bearish ideas where the same method can also be employed. So let's take a look here. And what the method entails is where there is a flat moving average like here we have a flat 200 day moving average and you can see that what you are playing here is the idea that ultimately once you get price movement below the recent daily closing high excuse me daily closing low once you break this then it suggests that because of the flat moving average the only way we can get this to coil down the only way we can get a crossover is by prices continuing lower. So the idea is to find the lowest close during the period when the moving average is flat. Once this is broken to the downside, then the anticipation here is that there could be a future crossover. The only way the crossover can take place, the only way is with prices continuing lower. Now the reverse is also true. Here we have a flat moving average period, basically flat in that period. You take the highest daily closing high. And so the only way we can get this moving average, which is flat, generally speaking in this period here, the only way the moving average can cross and move higher the only way we can get a future crossover, the only way that can happen is if the prices move above the daily closing high. The daily closing high is the daily closing high while we have a flat moving average. Once we break out, then that breakout becomes a signal that there is a possibility that we might go higher. So you Take that opportunity to go long after the breakout above the daily closing high in anticipation of exactly this type of a move. Because that move only happens or has to happen. The move has to happen because the only way the moving average can go from being flat to coiling up, the only way you can get a future crossover is by a rapid expansion in price action. It is not easy to move the 200 day moving average. So the only way to move it is to move it with big chunks of moves. And that's where the method becomes very important in trying to find you momentum, entry, swing trade opportunities, either to the upside or to the downside. I'm going to include a link to this video playlist in the description of the video. Eric Moad with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. E, I see. Yes.